Welcome to the final of the unofficial Euro 2020 tournament. We've got the two heavyweights of the competition, the two favourites, Portugal versus France, competing for glory today. Who is going to win this one? Let's get over and check out today's team news. Portugal have gone for a 4-1-2-3 formation today with Rui Patricio at the back, with Rafael Guerrero, Ruben Diaz, Pepe and Ricardo Pereira in defence. In defensive midfield, they've got Danilo Pereira with Yao Moutinho and Bruno Fernandes in central midfield, and Goncalo Guedes and Bernardo Silva behind Cristiano Ronaldo up front. France are playing a 4-4-1-1 formation today with Hugo Lloris in goal, a back four of Lucas Hernandez, Clomon Longley, Rafael Varane and Benjamin Pavard. In central midfield they have Angolo Kante and Paul Pogba with Blaise Matuidi out on the left and Kylian Mbappe out on the right with Antoine Griezmann in behind Olivier Giroud up front. Well, we are finally here. The final is upon us after a few days' wait, which has been weird having had games back to back to back in this tournament. We've got the two favourites for the tournament in the final, though. We've got Portugal shooting left to right in a 4 1 2 3 formation. We've got France shooting from right to left in a 4 4 1 1 formation. Both of these guys, as I said, were favourites at the start of the tournament. In their group stage, Portugal narrowly won this one 3 2. The referee says we're good to go here. Don't forget, six minutes and plus extra time if need be at the end of it. We are off and underway. And who is going to win this one then? Can anyone stop Portugal? France have been the closest of all the teams in this tournament so far. Narrowly losing 3-2 in their, in their deciding group match, the third group match, which decidedly won the group and determined their paths for the following st qualifying stages. And Portugal, they're the shark of... Ricardo Pereira there getting the ball clear. Nice little header earlier on. And Ronaldo is back defending, battling Kylian Mbappe with the ball. Long ball forward from Ronaldo to clear some pressure on the Portuguese goal. Here comes the fin back of uh, Bruno Fernandes. He's already lost a bit of a little bit of tail there. Brachiosaurus there has a shot, and that is Bernardo Silva tapping it in, taking giving Portugal the lead after 40 seconds, one 0 to Portugal. And Triceratops there, Mbappe. He's made, that's a very dangerous ball up in the air. You don't want Ronaldo getting on this one. Oh, he's he's done well. He's blocked it away. But it's back across the goal again. Can he get this one clear? Oh my word, that, what on earth happened there? The Titan of Earth plus somebody else cleared that one. And the Shark's going to land this one. Can the Shark get anything on this one? Here comes the Shark of Rafael Varane down the wing here for Portugal. Can he make a lunge at this? He's looking a bit floundery now. As Portugal taking it back towards their own goal. Always dangerous. You don't want, you don't want your Yeti getting onto this one. Do not let your Yeti Ruben Diaz get onto this one. Unpredictable of the Yetis on this game. And it's got blocks in the corner here. Can Mbappe put this one in? Oh, he's stuck on somebody. Mbappe can't get, can't get clear. And it's going to be cleared by Ronaldo. And now can they break? Can they break? The fin back there of, oh dear, of Olivier Giroud is down and injured. And the ball just rests upon his lifeless body as the Yeti of Lucas Nandes comes back. Oh, how on earth has Lucas Nandes put that in his own goal from there? Literally, the Yetis are just shocking, aren't they? How's that gone in his own net from there? It's 2 0, and that was entirely unavoidable. Good header there from the uh, Brachiosaurus. Of Paul Pogba. Ronaldo, can he get away from his own goal? He's got his own teammates tackling again over here at the moment. What is going on over here? These guys are playing for time after just two minutes. Are they fearing the French can come back into this game? I don't know. All I'm seeing right now is a lot of French destruction. And the snap, how on earth has that gone in? The shark there, Rafa Ricardo Pereira with a worldy, an absolute worldy, making it 3 0. <laughs> Excuse me, I just sneezed with commentary and could not hide that very well at all. Ricardo Pereira, though, with a stunning third goal for, 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 for um, Portugal. Oh no, and it's 4 0. I think that's Ronaldo. And this is not the result we were hoping for in the final at the moment. Anyway, back into this game for France. Portugal currently walking this one 4 0. This was not expected at all. Can France come back in this at all? Right now they're getting bossed in this game, and that's going to go in as well. How has that gone in as well? Ronaldo makes it 5-0, and it's going to be, be the most almighty of comebacks with three minutes now coming up on the clock for Portugal not to win this one. They have done very well in this tournament. Again, did not see this result coming at the moment. It may it may still turn around at 5 in line very much doubt it, but I did not think this was going to be an absolute walkover. The first game wasn't, and somehow... Oh my word, Bruno Fernandes makes it six. And France are getting the pacing. I don't think anyone would have expected here at all. There's just... It looks like there's no comeback here at all, France. Can France... Are France going to get hammered by ten in the final? These two are equal on values, for, can I point out as well. And finally, the Hugo Lloris there in goal for the French. Finally gets a block on it and clears the ball away. And now we're in for a mighty bundle in the corner. Are we going to get a bundle of all bundles? Which is going to be a problem. We could have... Could happen. 
We could have a full-on bundle kicking off. Are we ready, people? Oh, is everyone going to go here? Everyone might go. Oh, we can have a mass, a mass wipeout. We might do. Everyone's bundling in on this one. We're really at the four-minute mark. Will anyone survive this? Will anyone survive this? I don't know why Portugal are playing for time here. Let's pan around here. Ronaldo holding the ball in the corner, wasting time at 6-0. He wants to make sure they win this. What are these guys doing in the corner here? What is going on here? How is anyone still alive? And they're not. There they go. We've got an entire wipeout. There's, <laughs> there's 4 minutes 20 on the clock. And the play has been reset. Portugal 6-0 up. This is a disappointing, a disappointing end to a good tournament. Portugal just cannot get this... Sorry, France can just not get this forward at all, can they? They can't get on anything at all. The giraffe here of Rafael Guerrero for Portugal. And it's breaking out again to Ronaldo. He's got Hugo Lloris coming at him. Where's Ronaldo going? Ronaldo seems to take, be taking it back into the right-back area of their pitch quite a lot at the moment. I'm not really sure what he's doing. He's almost taking the mitt out of the uh, French team. Though. Has he put it in his own net, though? He's given them a chance here. Is it going to drop over? It's dropped over. and Ronaldo scored an own goal. And I think no pressure. It's 6-1. If Ronaldo can just score five more in goals in the next minute, that'll be fantastic. Liven this game up a little bit. And that's a long shot from Mbappe. Is that going to drop in? No, not quite. Good effort, though. Good, good attempt to lob it over the entire team there. It didn't work out for him, unfortunately. And now another bundle in the corner. Looks like Portugal is wasting time here. Happy to run the clock down now to take the title. 6-1 with uh, 30 seconds to go in this game. And I don't think they're going to get any more goals in this one. I might be wrong. You never know. We might get another goal. But it's going to be a consolation goal at best for the French if they can get one. They'll be disappointed in this game. They'll be thoroughly disappointed. They've not given the Portuguese a, a game at all. Oh, and there gets another one for Bruno Fernando. It's a 7-1. And what an absolute shock of a final result here. We knew Portugal were good. But France are better than this. And France have just not shown up at all in this match. There's five seconds left in this one. Five, four, three, two, one. And this one is over. And what we expected was not what happened at all here. We expected a close game after the 3 2 win to Portugal in the group stages. However, unfortunately, uh, Portugal have shown up and France decided to stay at home and watch it on TV by the look of it because they have been absolutely battered in this one. It's not gone well for them at all. The only, only goal they scored was a Ronaldo own goal. They had a shocker of a final. And this one finishes 7 uh, Portugal 7, France 1. And Portugal are the unofficial Euro 2020 tournament winners. Congratulations to Portugal. An astounding 7-1 win there for Portugal versus France. The same two teams as were in the 2016 final, although it was just 1-0 to Portugal back then. 7-1 this time round. A great win for Portugal. We can see a Ronaldo celebrating, holding the trophy above his head with his tiny little arms in the team photo here with all the ticker tape going off and all that. A great picture. A very happy Portugal team. All the Portugal fans out there will be ecstatic as a result of this superb, superb performance throughout the tournament, to be fair to them. A great performance. Hope you've enjoyed the tournament as well, guys. Thank you for your support, for supporting the underdogs, the big guns, whoever you are supporting. Thank you ever so much for watching. And until next time, I hope I'll see you on my videos very soon. Cheers all. Bye for now.